Oh yeah, good morning. We are back in here. And this morning, we'll show you what these kids do every morning when, uh, when we're here. Get them nice and clean, get them washed up. Give him some water first. He wets it down, soaks it, and then uh, once he's done this, and he'll hook onto this guy right here. And he'll pull off the soap on it, he'll scrub it, and get it nice and clean, and then he blows, he blow dries them, puts them in the chute and blow dries them. You want to bring yours? Yeah. As long as you're good to do that. You, you can you can go grab your calf. Well, yep. But you can you can bring it here. Did you give yours some water? Yeah. It's here. That's all right. When you're done here, give him some water. Okay, we got Brock going here. Beckton's soap is down. Parker is scrubbing his. And Brock and Jackson are gonna show their calves, their bottle feds first, so. Get them all cleaned up. Hey, no, no, don't worry about it. Are you awake? Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Ready to clean your animal up? Right on. What's your name? Landon, Landon Richardson. He's our neighbor. Do you have your steer? You're gonna clean your steer too? Perfect. 
We got Landon Richardson here in the cross. This is big, big brother Hunter and big sister Ainsley. Looks like they're washing, getting theirs all cleaned up. This is the part that takes the longest. Blowing them off. We got Hunter Richardson here. He's blowing off his uh, cow calf project. And then we got Parker going here on his. And then Ainsley Richardson is going on her. On her is right here. On her heifer project. So we got our two calves there and Beckton. They're all waiting patiently to get dried off. You just about done, Parker? Yeah. As soon as you're done, then you need to, uh, to get going on the cab. All right, last but not least, we got Jackson. Get this roan, get that white popping out of this roan steer. You know, wash him up and uh, See if you can get him looking good, eh, Jax? Yep. Okay, last one to get cleaned up. He's got them all uh, clean. He's just got to blow them dry. Put that white nice and white. Okay, you're good, bud? You're good? Yeah. All right, shows are moving along nice. Uh, Dylan showed up. He's done lots of the uh, preparing and like uh, the steers, getting them to look fancy. And he's just showing the Beckton how to do his. Get the hair to do some work. Put some product in the legs and uh, make them look good or help them to look good. Brock, watch oh, out with this one. Watch out. There you go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Jackson and Brock are ready to go show. They're the only ones that are, uh, they're the only ones that have bottle babies, so it's a battle of the brothers. Right, Hunter? I'm gonna win. You're gonna win, eh? No, he just wants you to be ready. Yeah, it'd be better if Brock was in front. They have an order that they like to go. Jackson's likes to follow Brock's. Okay, now they're doing the bull, calendar bull calf class. So there's only one extra and that's Hunter Richardson. Jackson plays third. Hunter here got first. And that's a continuation, so that uh, that calf is going right to its mama right there. And they're going right back in. So, nice pair the Richardsons have. And they're, they're coming back in. All right, so this is intermediate showmanship. So we have Beckton coming in here. Showmanship is how you show your animal. It's not necessarily the animal. 
it's how you show it. So making sure it's uh, uh, presented proper, standing proper. Uh, if the judges uh, rub their hand on it, that you uh, comb that hair straight and uh, hold that head up high. It's all depending all on how you show your animal. So let's see what Becton does in here. Problem is I got Parker up next and I gotta make sure he's good to go as well. Okay, so for showmanship, looks like Becton got in fourth. He had good control of his animal, but didn't quite have him standing the way he, was, he should have been. And, uh, but he had full control the whole time, so. Yeah, you gotta, there's lots of things to make sure you're doing. Yeah. Here's Parker in the showmanship uh, class for intermediate. When the judge brushes it, you're supposed to go Oh, and like <laughs> fix his hair? Fix it, yeah. and then put his feet, you know, and hold the halter properly and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Parker's group is done. He did not do a good job. I'm not sure what was going through, but he he just stood there, didn't throw him right, didn't have his head up, and that's part of showmanship. You gotta have their head up, have your hands right, have the feet standing right, and this is him on the end. And yeah. But uh, he didn't, just he didn't things, do a lot of those things. things so you can improve on. Every judge is different. There's just uh, it happens. Some things so. Other judges like over other things, but it's all it's all learning. That's why we're doing 4-H, and that's part of the model, right? And on down the line. All right, last one, but not least is Jackson. Remember what to do, Jackson? Yes. All right. Let's do it. Brock ain't doing show me shit. Yeah, he is. Oh. Okay, maybe not last. Brock's gonna do it yet. <laughs> All right. All right, Jackson. Perfect. Get that away right now. Give him a pull. <laughs> All right, Jackson is right in there. He's got that rolling one. Standing nice for him. Like I said, this is all to do with how you show your animal and Jackson's pretty, uh, his steer's been a little bit on the wilder side. So with him, I'm happy if he just makes it through. Seems to be doing good so far. Hey, he did well. Didn't go crazy on him, but uh, he, he did good. Good job, buddy. Okay, now it's last but not least. Jackson got his put away. Steers did good, they stayed calm. Looks like we have some work to do on how to show our animals, get them standing right. So, Brock, you got this? Right on, half fun. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Okay, now we got club shows and they're gonna place them in order of sale for tomorrow. So I got Becton here, Parker there and Jackson. So how they place in this is all to do with the structure of the animal, how they are um, finished, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and then the higher they rank, the earlier they sell on the sale for tomorrow. So the animals have calmed right down. They're looking good. They're looking good. So they're doing a lot better every day.
you know, it's pretty cool how these uh, young kids are handling these big animals. <clears throat> and once they've got control of them, it's <clears throat> how they can move them around with the halter and get them set up. But you never know, sometimes they get spooked and they go a little nuts, but <clears throat> for the most part, the animals are doing pretty good. Help him out, Parker. Twist that tail if you have to. Keep going, you three. Keep it. You've been there. We need to place all the animals as it will be their order of sale tomorrow. Turn them. There you go, Landon. You do a good job, buddy. Give her. There's Landon. And Hunter, his older brother. Okay. So we took a little wild large class and we got uh, all different size of weights in this class too. Um, after getting your hands on all these steers, they give these kids a round of applause. They've done a little good job of raising their project, projects for the year. I think whoever buys these steers will be happy with the uh, with the end product. Kind of touch base on the on the top four here. Start off this class with a very fancy steer. He's good. He does have longer toes, but he did uh, walk good enough to get to the uh, feed trough to get to where he is. I'm not too critical on that on on uh, on steers when it comes to that. Females is a little different, but uh, anyways, moving on down second class here or second in class. Little heavier made steer, nice and smooth yet. Got to put up great carcass. Third. Um, maybe just a little bit gives up in the flank a little bit above the two steers above him. And in the fourth, you're a very similar type steer. Maybe just not quite the red meat in him as the uh, three steers above him. But uh, congratulations, folks, and good luck with yourself. All right, so here we got uh, the place Beckton, uh, my nephew, who uh, grew in at our house. He plays fourth. Congratulations no, to third. Cameron Armstrong, your champion for the Elm Creek Club Market Steer Show 2023. First place and prize is sponsored by Hilltop Jackson Meats. Jackson placed eight and, and club nine. Club champions sponsored by All Natural eight, Meats and, eight and nine. Reserve Champion. Out of 16. Landon so. Richardson, Richardson Pioneer Mall. Yeah, right in there. So, very good. Your sale order for the Elm Creek Club Market Steer Projects tomorrow will be Cameron Armstrong, Landon Richardson, Beckett Bre Beckton Brewer, Shane Muir, Ainsley Richardson, Nathan Armstrong, Hunter Richardson, Parker Enns, Jack hey, Landon, good job, buddy. Attaboy. Alexander Reedstra, Mason Reedstra, Sawyer Reedstra, <laughs> Benjamin Beck, Emma Reedstra, good job, Nathan. and Otto Veld. Turn them so if you, you have to. Come and bid oh. on these animals tomorrow at 1 p.m. Good job, Beckton. Good job, Hunter. There you go. What's up, Parker? What's that? Yep. You want me to take him or are you good? Yes, please. All right.